right, so today we are going to make a Lebanese style uh, fish. We picked up some pickerel, really pretty pickerel. I uh, had my fishmonger clean it, so all I have to do is eat it, cook it, and eat it. And what's awesome about this pickerel is this is indigenous to southern Ontario. This is our fish from our Great Lakes and our river, the Detroit River. And did you know Detroit River is not even a river at all? It's not? It's called a Detroit. Like, if you have two Great Lakes and you have a line of water that goes from one Great Lake to another Great Lake, it's called a Detroit. Oh, That's it what is? what it's called. Yeah. But they couldn't call it Detroit, Detroit, because that would make no sense. Right. So they called it Detroit River. It's yeah. technically not even a river. So that's why the city is called Detroit? Oh. Detroit? Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but you can catch right. these just down the street. So basically, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, season this up with some uh, crushed walnuts. Uh, a little bit of cilantro, tons of garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, a little bit of cumin. We're gonna mix that all up. We're gonna coat the inside, stuff the inside as much as we can with the nuts, and uh, coat the outside, score it, wrap it in uh, uh, parchment Wax paper, parchment. and then uh, wrap that again in aluminum foil, shoot her in the oven. We're gonna tear it up. All right, oh, yeah, we we start. Are. we're also gonna make some Brussels sprouts to go with our uh, dinner tonight, and if you say, eh, I don't like Brussels sprouts, you don't know how to fucking cook Brussels sprouts. You'll, We're going to show you how to make delicious Brussels sprouts. Yeah, you'll like these Brussels sprouts. We'll put some red pepper in there with those, just to pretty them up. And we're going to make a little bit of rice on the side. Maybe the rice peel off, or uh, we'll figure it out as we go. We like to just go with the flow. Whatever we got, we use. And we're going to add this red pepper to this to give it exactly what I don't have. Color. Look at Cut that shit out. <laughs> More to edit. Thanks, Shay. <laughs> this look, you can't even tell I'm holding. You can't even tell I'm holding lemons, can you? Where are the lemons, Shay? <laughs> Does this hat look okay or is yeah. it fucking dumb? No, it's good. All right. It's um, um, our, oh, that's your racing. Yeah, I just cover up the scars so I'm not dealing with bullshit. All right, so uh, first thing we can do is crush this. We can either uh, we can either put this in a bag, take the mallet to it. Or, but it's gonna be, but or I can use a nonsense. I say we just grab a bag and a mallet because yeah. I don't want it to. I don't want a powder. Right. Yeah. I want a little mm -hmm. chunky. Right. So you do that. Eggs are down there. Sounds good. Mallet's right here. Uh, mallet used to be right here. <laughs> you know, I have these wonderful kids. They just don't know my organization. Like, yes, this is organized. You know. You know, you know the first sign how I can tell if you have kids in the house? Is this an uh, empty box in the uh, cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check the fridge. It'll be empty. Uh, <laughs> one, one bite of something left. <laughs> so this bag, um, let's double it up. The, uh, one time I found the milk bag in there. It's literally just a dirty milk bag. Yeah, there's no, not even a, like usually they leave a sip just for the asshole. Yes, yeah. Not even a sip. No, this this is this is the worst too. My little brother came to the house, goes in the fridge. There's juice. He's talking to me, telling the story. And in the juice container, there's only like one glass. You have a glass. As he's talking to me, he fills a glass, realizes the juice container is empty, takes half the glass, pours it half back. Oh in no! Jug, puts it back in the fridge. I'm like Tobias. You're so he didn't have to throw it away? No, so he didn't have to make more juice. Oh, fuck. I'm like, you're so lazy. <laughs> like so, or more than that? Breaking up. There's a little bit more. Like, little if little you get them all... Looking like this guy? Half the size of this one. Nice. It'll be okay. Even if we have some powder in there, yeah. it's okay, because that'll mix with the sauce, yeah. right? Yeah. One of Bassan's favorite dishes. This is a dish I have never eaten, but look at this. It'll be Shane's favorite. Yeah, it's gonna be my favorite tea. <laughs> oh, I had a weird ass fucking dream last night, bro. Oh, Lord. You're not even gonna believe this, but we were doing this, we were doing a show. Okay. And you were like, I gotta show you this. UFC move. And you were like, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I swear to God, Shane, true dream. Like, right, yeah. So you got behind me, and you put me in a chokehold. Rear, rear naked? Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm tapping, and you wouldn't let go of my arm. I was like, 
crocheting. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. Nothing. I was about to pass out. I grabbed this bottle of olive oil and I smashed it. <laughs> Bunch of cilantro and as much garlic as you like. Uh, you can use one, two, or three bulbs of garlic. I'm going to use one because it's right here. Oh, yeah. Right okay, one and two cloves. <laughs> uh, instead of chopping that uh, garlic, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in the mortar and pestle. Okay. To make it like a like taste. a taste almost. Yeah, so it'll spread nice and even. And nobody gets a chunk. It would be like garlic tahini. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this beautiful mortar and pestle my mother-in-law got me. That's a nice one. This is how I like to uh, get rid of the, clean the garlic, because I don't know if it's smart or lazy, but just kind of. Smart, look. Yeah, oh yeah. I'll cut the bits off as they fall out. <laughs> Just rub them together like you're putting lotion on your hands, but don't try to do this with no gloves on, or you are going to. Steaks? Yeah. But. So, and Bro, then you try to open it, oh, this is built all kinds of pressure in here, and then it pops this instead of... Damn, that was loud. <laughs> you, know, <I> know. <laughs> you know, Alex did that to me. <laughs> so, I almost punched him in the face. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I thought you would have known about that for sure. Oh, yeah, no. I'll find a project so we don't get popped. <laughs> <laughs> Hell. I meant you would have seen it on YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was fucking great. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see the slow motion look on my face. Oh, we'll, see. <laughs> we'll get that. <laughs> we'll get that too. <laughs> so before I crush garlic, I like to uh, put some salt in here. A, it will uh, act as an abrasive to uh, really uh, grind it up. B, it'll absorb uh, whatever oils we lose to the mortar, to the mortar, okay? Mortar, pestle? Yes. Or mortar, pestle? Nah. Nah. Mortar, pestle. Yeah. Like some lemons to put on your fish as well. Yeah, yeah. Put them on top. Just for we got a little look for two will be good because you're gonna use all them inside. Yeah, all these are gonna use. You. Um, I'm using three lemons. If you don't have lemons, you want to use lemon juice. By all means, go ahead. I think you probably need about a half a cup of lemon juice if you're using bottle. Okay. For the people that will probably write to us and ask this question. If they don't have lemons at all, could you substitute it with lime? Yeah, of course. Hey, there you go. Sure. Lime Actually, up. if you like the flavor of lime, use it instead. Use it instead. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I love lime, but this is this is the recipe calls for lemon. I'm going to use lemon. I have lemons. I don't have any limes. I'm using a strainer just to catch the seeds because you don't want one of those biting into one of those. Mm -hmm. it's super bitter. These nuts. <laughs> yeah, you, you might have better luck than I. Check over there, buddy.
<laughs> you know you are so either. So that was a half a teaspoon. Every cre every click is a quarter teaspoon. That was a half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. We'll taste it before we put it on the fish. And you know you're either a chef or a foodie when you look at this and get excited. Yeah, I do. Like okay. this is that's man. You shouldn't have to put too much salt in because the lemon juice will compensate. I would think it's about two cups, yes. Two cups of walnuts, so this is uh, we'll this be another cup. Or another cup, yeah. yeah. If you can, okay. Um, <laughs> if you can genetically. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy fucking garlic, that's spicy. <laughs> If you can genetically modify any nut to the size of a cantaloupe, what nut would it be? Hazelnut. Ooh. For sure. My, that, favorite, my favorite nut. That was my, my grandfather's favorite. Yeah. Hazelnut? Or what's that one in Hawaii? Like an Amy. Yes. Um, straight up pistachio. I yeah, wish I could hold a pistachio in two hands like a squirrel, you know? <laughs> and just eat it watching TV. Oh. This is a delicious nut, for sure. Here is and uh, who would be. Uh... See how this tail is all smushed? And when we pull it out, it's going to be all like this. <laughs> and mine's going to be nice and pretty. So you can tell who the one who cares is and who the one who doesn't. Trail here, maybe three tablespoons, five. Temperature. set the sear and I just turned it on. With When it comes to sear, you don't have to uh, set a temperature or anything else, just turns it on high. Uh, once that warms up, and it's not gonna take long, I'll throw a little oil in here, I'm gonna saute our vegetables. We're gonna throw some water in here, bring it to a boil, and then I will put the pressure cooker lid on, pressure cook it for 10 minutes, and we'll have some perfect rice.
happens, and that's what I was doing at first. Maybe There's our race. This is beautiful every time. Because you'll feed them. Just listen to me, you'll never have crappy race ever again. <laughs>